Elizabeth Kirikiri has resigned from the Green Party but will continue as an independent MP until the election. Co-leaders Marta Davidson and James Shaw say they won't invoke the waka jumping legislation to replace to replace her as a list MP. Adam Hollingworth reports. Elizabeth Kerekere quit via email just after eight last night, midway through a heated Zoom call with her party caucus, one month into an investigation into her actions. On 5 April 2023, Dr Kerekere sent messages to a group of Green Party MPs and staff that appeared to fall short of our values as a party. This was the moment colleagues' jaws dropped as Kere Kere sent the text describing Chloe Swarbrick as a crybaby, which triggered the investigation. Back then, Kere Kere apologised, but now claims it was aimed at herself. Do you buy her explanation that she was calling herself a crybaby? Uh, we don't find that credible. It's emerged this wasn't the first accusation against Kere Kere. We had been aware that there were concerns mm. Uh, and that the, the, in, that the messages that were sent were indicative of that. But Marima Davidson says people didn't feel safe in coming forward until the investigation was launched. You said that Elizabeth Kitty had potentially put staff's well-being at risk. How is that not bullying? That is what the internal process would have um, helped get to the heart of. Former Labour Party President Mike Williams believes Kere Kere jumped before she was pushed. The negative publicity around uh, Elizabeth Kerry Kerry, justified or not, probably means that she would not come uh, on that list in a uh, a winnable position, so she's really just cut and run. Five years ago, the Greens voted for the waka jumping legislation, but only reluctantly. It is a dead rat that we have to swallow. So there's no chance they'd replace Kere Kere with the next MP down their list. We do not intend to invoke it if faced with that choice. Davidson and Shaw say despite the resignation, the investigation will continue. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.